By clicking View Options, you will enter the Customization section of our program. The General Settings tab is information like where the job will be saved on the hard drive if there is no SD card inserted into the tablet, PC, or computer. You can also choose what language to view the software in. We currently support English, French, German, Italian, Czech, Spanish, and two dialects of Polish. Below the language bar is the button that allows you to associate all L55 files to our software. If for some reason you double click on an L55 file and it tries to open another program or doesn't know how to open the program, click this button and all L55 files will be associated and open like normal. Other simple settings can be changed in this tab too, like the default size for text, saving template images separately, and how to display radii on the drawing. In the Estimate Settings tab, you can change the values that are used in the estimate. First, the Group by Page checkbox will allow you to separate each page in the estimate so that each portion of the job can be broken down individually. You can add and delete material and change their value by clicking the plus and x signs. Below there, you can change the dollar amount for each type of color and edge profile. This is another place where you can change the description of the colors. Changing the value of the different edge types will automatically adjust the estimate values when you are quoting a customer for the job. The Quick Actions tab allows you to add and remove quick actions from the on-screen menu. First, you can move the current quick actions up or down in the list with the buttons in the top right side of the window. Next, if you want to remove a quick action, you can select it and then click Remove. On the bottom right corner, you can add new quick actions. First, select the action type, fill it, offset, or text. Depending on what you choose, the next two boxes might be grayed out if they don't relate to the action you are trying to take. If not, choose the fill it type and the unit of measurement. Then choose the size, type in the text, and you're done. If you want the quick action to appear on the action's main page, check the box at the bottom. An example of this would be if you do not want the fill it 1 inch R for radius to appear in the fill it window, double click the fill it 1 inch R and uncheck the box. The email settings are a little more difficult to set up because there are so many different email services around. We have documentation on our website for setting up the email accounts with Gmail, AOL, and Yahoo since they are the most commonly used. If you have a company email address, you should talk to your IT person to obtain these standard email settings. Gmail tends to be an easy email service provided by Google to use, so we have included a button that automatically sets up your account in our program. If you click the Gmail button, a window will appear and tells you to enter your email address, password, and the person sending the email is going to be. One thing to remember is that your Gmail setting needs to be enabled with POP email. This lets our program log into your email account and send the files to your office. To do so, there's an address you need to follow and go to. Just be aware that absolutely no personally identifiable information like email address, username, or password is ever sent to our office. The advanced tab is where you'll set up company information, like agreement and logos. If you click view edit next to company information, you can enter your company's contact information and save it so it appears on all printouts. If you click on View Edit next to Customer Agreement, you can write in your customer agreement to have it signed by the customer. If this is already written somewhere on your computer, you can copy and paste it into this window and save it here. The next option is how long the program retains autosaves. While you are templating a drawing or editing a drawing, our program will create autosaves just in case the tablet PC's battery dies or something happens and you need to go back a few steps. Whatever the number in this box is how many days that autosave will be saved for. If you click the button next to logo with the three dots, you can select your company logo to have added to printouts as long as it is in the standard JPEG format. The next option is the shop logo. This is the logo that will go in the shop sheet. The same rules apply for as the normal logo. It must be a JPEG image. If your company wants to add a couple pages to the beginning of every printout, you can select it in the prepend PDF option. Prepending to PDF file simply takes an already created PDF file and inserts it in front of the ones that we create. By clicking view pages you can select a page to view or edit. You can also add a page here or at the top left corner of the screen by clicking new page. If you click edit pages you will be taken to the page editing portion of our software. Here you can include specific information about the brand and model of the sink or cooktop, as well as if the sink is an undermount or drop-in, 
and how many holds need to be cut for a faucet. You should use different pages for each portion of the job, especially if you're using different materials for each part. This is because when you run an estimate, you will have different prices for each. Some CNC's require polylines to cut templates. If this is the case for your CNC, check the box next to Use DXF Polylines. If you have lines that are set to be invisible and uncheck the box next to Save Invisible Colors, those invisible colors will not be saved to the DXF file, but will still remain in the L55 file. If you want to rotate your drawing 90 degrees, just click View, Rotate 90 degrees. If you wish to view the diameter of a circle, click View, Circle Diameter. Then click the circle you wish to view the diameter of. If you want to mirror the drawing so that you can view it from the bottom, so it is ready for a CNC, click View, Mirror. You will see a mirror in the top left corner of the screen indicating that you are in mirror mode. This is also used for drawing backsplashes and tub decks so that they appear normal while you are templating them. We suggest typing in a word or phrase like top before going into mirror mode so that when you are in mirror mode and save the file, you know which way the file is. To view the actual points that were measured with the laser, click view display measured points. They will appear as black X's. You will also see a gray crosshair in the location where the laser was positioned while templating. This is called the zero zero point. A benefit of being able to see the measured points is to see what was already offset or edited just in case you forget. To see if there are any breaks in your drawing which could cause a CNC or plier not to completely cut the job, click View Display Contiguous Breaks. A yellow box will be displayed around every broken end. If there are two boxes near each other, this most likely means that those two points need to be connected. An easy way to do so is to use the draw line from the right hand column and tap on each point. You can zoom in to see these breaks if they are too small to see when you have the drawing at full size. Also, if you are trying to estimate a drawing and there are breaks in the outline of the countertop, the software will not be able to figure the total square footage. Object Info allows you to view detailed information on any object in your drawing. Click View Object Info, then click on any object. X and Y coordinates are provided, like in CAD, as well as information like perimeter, radius, and angle. The LT55XL software will display measurements as both metric or imperial. So whether you want to see inches and fractions or meters and millimeters, you can set up dimensions how you want. In imperial mode, you will have many options of how to view the dimensions. They can be displayed as inches and fractions, feet inches and fractions, inches and decimals, or feet inches and decimals. Depending on how defined you want the measurements to be shown, you can select anywhere from 1 quarter of an inch to 1 28th of an inch. In metric mode, you can view meters or millimeters and choose how many decimal places you want to use for more granular measurements.